Okay, here we are with Agriculture Secretary Carlos Flores. We, he's going to provide us with an update of what's happening in the sector. Um, basically, what we want to know is what happened, you know, in terms of losses and which sectors were the hardest hit. Um, if it means any kind of danger for Puerto Rico in terms of food running out and how long it'll take for the sector to recover. Um, I know that there are important areas like coffee, milk, and plantains and produce. So why don't we talk about what's going on in the sector after Maria? Right, well, let me give you a quick break of what's happening right now. We're still uh, in the emergency phase uh, where we are collecting all the information from the field, trying to get as much as information and estimate the damage that we have in the in the agriculture. Remember that we have two uh, major uh, hurricanes that just passed through in a two weeks separate from, from from each other. So the estimates that we have for Hurricane uh, Irma was about $45 million. It was about 20% of the losses. But Hurricane Maria hit us very hard. So most of the crops that uh, survived the first hurricane has been uh, wiped out in the, in, the, in the island and we still having that information coming from the field. Uh, for example, one of our uh, regional director lost uh, her house and other agronomists that live in that population has been severely affected also. There are still areas in Puerto Rico that we have no access yet and remember that those are precisely rural areas where we have the agriculture. So uh, we have, we do have some estimates of the losses, but what we are, are seeing in, in, in which is going to affect more the agriculture is the damages in the infra infrastructure. Uh, planting banana and coffee uh, crops, and coffee was in, in the middle of the harvesting season, had, has been lost completely, uh, as well as the bananas and plantings. Starchy crop that usually are in the coastal areas, in the plains, in, 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 the, in the areas in Puerto Rico, in the south uh, mostly, has been also uh, dis destroyed, mostly by the uh, floating that we had. All the rivers that has excessive water has damaged about 51,000 acres uh, in the whole uh, coastal areas in Puerto Rico. Winds of uh, 155 miles per hour, we cannot expect that any uh, any plant can survive that. So, uh, all so, of those crops have been uh, destroyed. Okay, so what does that mean for food safety? Are we going to have some sort of sh shortage? Are we? Gonna... Uh, really not. What we are going to have shortage shortages are from local food. Right. But what happened in Puerto Rico? We have a very strong chain of uh, resupply, mostly for imported products from, from, from the uh, uh, east coast of the states. Most of the ports uh, send a lot of products in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, uh, before the hurricane, we, we were at about 85% of imported products and 15% of lo local uh, production. That, mm -hmm. That's what pro probably what we have lost. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Then you, you have to change that balance and imported right. more products. So right. I always I say that we, we used to consume for uh, Christmas the pasteles uh -huh. uh, with local uh, uh, product. So this time probably we're going to still have the pasteles but, but with imported masses. Are you going to allow, so, allow the import of Sure, the, the same that okay. we have done before in, in the other, nas other national disasters, we have to change that. Uh -huh. and but that what, requires an order. The, from right, the, that requires an order, and but also we have to change that very quick because in order to uh, promote again the economy in Puerto Rico, we need to produce locally. That's sure. what we have more value added products, more jobs, and, and we have to change that very quick. Uh, yeah, what, what, the, would be, what would be the objective to raise that 15% to what? You know. Well, our plan in, in our plan before the hurricanes that we're going to have to take that over mm -hmm. again. Uh, we want or, or our plan is to uh, uh, import about 70% and, okay. and produce uh, 30. about 30% of the uh, th that is double of what we have right uh, today. So, is that possible now after the hurricane? It's still possible. We have to go uh, with more 
uh, more, more effort because we have lost probably that 15% or a bit, at least that 10% that we were producing, we have to go back. It's going to be more difficult now because most of our infrastructure, what I mean with infrastructure is the, the ranches that are uh, built to uh, produce poultry, the, the egg production, all, most of those structures has been destroyed also. But we, those are insured, right? Uh, not precisely. Not all are insured. Okay. Uh, have insurance. Uh, Were the plantains insured? Because I know that there's... most of the plantains and banana and coffee is the, the farmers have the uh, insurance, agricultural insurance. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be helping them? You know. Yes. The there's policies? going to be two two process here. Uh, once the president of the United States have declared a disaster zones, uh, that commands a a movement of uh, USDA agencies in Puerto mm -hmm. Rico as well as, as Puerto Rico. What what happened is that uh, that gave the the uh, initiation for the um, what we call emergency uh, state board, where it is composed of a farm service agency, NRCS, rural development, uh, as, as well as the Department of Agriculture, and we start uh, providing information. And yes, the USDA, the Secretary Purdue, has already approved a series of programs that we can apply, that like any other state, okay. to, to support and go back in function again with, with those programs. So there's going to be state uh, programs and federal programs that are, we are going to be helping the farmers to go back again. Okay, what happened to the dairy section? Uh, sector? The dairy sector or it's uh -huh. more advantage in that process because they do have a insurance of business interruption. So all that milk that has been lost with, with, with the uh, uh, producer, they're gonna receive their payment anyway. But we have to work in the infrastructure that was uh, very uh, hard, hardly affected. We also have several programs that are gonna help to replace most of the uh, production unit, the, the cows. The cows, how many, right. do you have a, a number of deaths? We don't have that number yet. Do you think really? that, I know that milk is normally not imported. Do you think that there will be a need to import fresh milk? No, not really not, because we're back in production. Right now, our producers are going back to production. Okay. The two uh, plants are receiving that milk, but we are not selling it completely as a fresh milk right now, but we have Indulac, which is the uh, plant that process the UHT milk, sure. and that's what we are buying right now for all these refugees and all, all that uh, areas that require milk. So we do have areas to uh, uh, place that that production. How long before agriculture bounces back? Well, that that can be as quick as three months, four months, because we have short period uh, uh, crops, but also as long as two, three years, like the coffee, like the mangoes or, 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 or citrus tree that had been lost, that take longer for their recuperation. Okay, thank you so much, Secretary. Thank you.